In today's video, I'm going to show you the techniques I use to present my futuristic UI designs and make them look cool and sexy inside After Effects. Let's get to it. So another thing I wanted to show you is how you can present your UI animations in a more interesting, cool looking way um, to get someone's attention, whether it's on your Behance profile or on Instagram. So this is a UI design that I've created using my uh, one of my asset packs, my UI packs. It's just a collection of around uh, 100, uh, sorry, 350 different elements. And these are just eight of them that you can just drag and drop. Let me just quickly show you how this is made. Um, so I've got eight different uh, pre-rendered assets, the all video clips, and you just basically drag and drop onto a comp and you've made a UI within seconds. And where well, this would have probably taken you about a week to do, well, maybe four or five days. It would have taken you a long time, but moving away from the point, the idea is how you can make this look cool. Uh, let's get going. So I'm going to make this a 3D layer. So I'm going to add a new camera. Uh, 50 mil is fine. I think. Yep. And we'll go with it solid as well. Sorry, a null object. And I'm going to pair the camera to the null. And here I'm going to go with a rotation of 45 and a Y rotation of minus 45. And this gives us this angle here. And I'm just going to press the C button and position our camera. We've got all this space around here and uh, yeah, that's not looking neat. So we're going to cheat a little and press uh, CC Repital and select Unfold. And we're just going to basically fill the space Believe me, no one's going to notice that it's uh, duplicated. Probably not unfold then. We've got to re repeat. So that's looking, you know, nice and full. And our primary focus is going to be on this area here. So we're not done. Uh, so we're going to create a depth map. Um, so we grab a solid. We'll create one since I don't have one in this new project. Uh, but for this one, you can see I want it blurred on this side and this side. So what I'm going to do is create, select my solid layer, but uh, hide it and select our pen tool, zoom out a little and just highlight the area that I want, which is probably this and add a fill to it of white. Let's just see what we're doing. Feather this out. That's fine. We've got some feather here, feather here, feather here. And again, we'll call this blur map. We won't need that anymore. Bring in our adjustment layer. Camera lens blur. And the same again, we're going to push this to about 15. Let's bring our effects controls here so we can see it better. And select our blur map, make sure effects and mass is set, invert it. Okay, so that's looking cool. I'm going to bring in our solid again. And this time I'm going to add a four color gradient and change this to screen. That gives a bit of our black. Oh, that's not looking neat. What I want is just a slightly uh, black, bluish UI color. So everything's going to be dark. But I want this side here to be almost like a blue because it's going to fake light coming from this side here. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll just increase that jitter. And this bottom color here, which is number three, 
Let's give that a little bit of color in as well. Okay, that's looking better. All right, what else can I do to make this cool? So, the other thing I can do is add some glows and blurs to certain areas. But just before I do that, I always add, like, in, add in the noise of about 4%. So I'm happy with my blurs, but I want a couple of highlights. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer. And then push that back. And then just tweak the opacity. And this just gives us more depth. You really want it low, actually, around 15%. So that's a bit too low. You probably won't notice it, but it just adds a little bit of depth. So I'm going to duplicate that again and push that to 20. Let's just go with whole numbers and make that 10. Let's put these underneath. So this one should be 10%. Okay, looking better. Let's go back to our blurry option. So I'm going to duplicate our top layer. Uh, just solo this for a second. I'm going to add a fractal noise. And then I'm going to adjust it. So I only want a couple of white splodges in a few certain areas. So let's transform this, scale that up. Change the brightness, it's fine. It doesn't matter, that can look rubbish. I'm going to add a multiply. Then I'm going to add a glow to this and can I just tweak with a threshold not too much something like that crank up the intensity it's a bit too much I actually don't know what I'm doing here yet I think going to add a narrow direction below. Crank this up. And bring that back. Yeah, so this is just giving us a couple of little glowy highlights in a few areas. And I quite like that. And you can increase the amount by just changing the brightness here. Quite sensitive. There we go. So now we're going to have a few more glows. So that's looking cool. So let's just go back to where we were before. So we've gone from that to that in not too much time at all, not too much trouble either. So, you know, if you're presenting this as a thumbnail, that's going to gain a lot more clicks and interest than seeing that. And in the world that we live in today, it's all about getting those clicks. So I'm quite happy with this. Um, alternatively, you know, I'm going to create a, another camera. And let's just try and have a look. In fact, I'm just going to undo that. And I'm going to I'm going to start from scratch actually, another one. So, getting a new camera. And so, I'm going to try a different angle. Let's make that sure that's a 3D layer. I probably want something like this. And I'm just going to be lazy and steal my reputile settings, paste them in. So, I'm press pressing C and 
just positioning my camera somewhere there. Cool, and I want my focus here. So this time I think we should be able to get away with the built-in camera from After Effects. Let's see how this is going to turn out. Crank this up. Maybe not so much. Just keep the blur amount at 150 and the aperture at 150 and the focal distance. Let's focus on somewhere around here. And I'm just going to go back into here and steal this background. Come back here. And make sure this is set to screen. So we've got that light coming in here. So yeah, that looks cool as it is. Let's duplicate that. And then we're just going to create that little parallax effect. So screen and a low amount of opacity. Duplicate, press P, push it back. Let's go with 10. And I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, so that was pretty quick. Um, we can also add our glow effect again. So let's go back into here and steal these three. In fact, you should be able to just to copy this. And paste it straight into here. And that gives us our close. And then we can adjust that with the opacity. Okay, so we reached the end of the video. Uh, that's basically how I make my UIs look cool and fancy for when I post them on websites like Behance. Uh, so here's an example uh, of the uh, HUD pack that I mentioned. So, you know, I just use the same techniques here. Blur, camera angle and glows. Uh, so yeah, exactly the same techniques there that I used and uh, yeah, it just makes your designs look better than how they actually are. Uh, so that's actually how they are in real life. Nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't really sell and it doesn't really capture people's attention. But you know, glow, blow and depth does. So that's what I do. Um, yep, hope you found this video useful and I hope you use these techniques for any UIs you make. All right. Uh, uh, if you found this video useful, you know, make sure you uh, like this video and please consider subscribing this, to this channel for future videos and more golden information of After Effects stuff. All right, guys. Bye.